What did you do for work? Uh, I went to office work and I would start at the bottom, office girl, tea maker, go to the bank, go to the post office, do the filing, then move up into typing and then the company I was with, they brought in, you probably wouldn't have heard of this, a bookkeeping machine. In a way it's a prototype of a computer, because it stored figures uh, and we were trained on that uh, and that's what I ended up doing. So that was quite interesting. Yeah. Could you just describe for us what a bookkeeping machine would have looked like? <laughs> the size of a centurion tank. No, <laughs> no not really, no. Um, it had a keyboard uh, and a figures. Keyboard, you could type onto it. Uh, <clears throat> put in a big roll of paper. It would say, let's see, about a third the length of that. About a meter, yeah, 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 and of course, as time went on, they updated them. Uh, what they called it's hard to explain, Les I haven't seen it. Um, you put on studs which put you into different columns of the paper, yeah, so that it could be read easily, um, totaled. Before, I don't know if you've ever seen those old, old films. We're in an office with these huge books, just sat up with huge days from these books. Well, that was pulling out of that onto a machine. Um, and then, uh, I, don't know if I don't know if they're in the go now at all. National Cash Register, NCR, they made them. Uh, so the, yes. the keys would have been like a manual... Yes. Well, uh, no, uh, no, they were electric. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you didn't have to bash them too hard. Oh. In the oh, first prototype machines, yes, you did. But these were a wee bit more up to date. Very sophisticated. Yes. <laughs> Very. Well, we thought this was great, mm. you know, because machine did. Because it's like every machine, if you put in the wrong thing, machine doesn't know that. It will hold it and spit it out and say it's right. <laughs> <laughs>
I'd think it was a mess, you know. I, that, that's what really put me off. I thought, I'll need to get away from here because I'm going to cut my finger and that will end it, you know. <laughs>